What can you make with a $500 laser? Well, in this video, we're going to answer that question. To do that, we're gonna be using this 10 watt laser from Creality. At the time of making this video, this laser retails for $493. So what can we do with a $500 laser? This laser is going to answer that question. So here's what we're gonna do. First, I'm gonna be making some really cool projects using wood, both uh, laser engraving and laser cutting projects. After that, I'm gonna be throwing some different materials into the mix, like acrylic, leather, and aluminum. And we're gonna see what happens. So, let's get started. The first project we're gonna do is this really cool fall leaf lantern made out of this three millimeter plywood. As you can see, this laser handled cutting this three millimeter material really, really well. Uh, a lot of clean cuts, and this is without any air assist. This is completely stock, um, and at the end, we're gonna add some air assist, so stay tuned for that. But I'm really happy with these. These joints turned out really good, and it all snaps together really nicely. For project number two, we're gonna engrave this photo on the wood, the three millimeter wood that we previously used. I really like how this turned out, but I think we can do a little bit better by adjusting the photo a little bit. So I'm gonna make some brightness and contrast adjustments, and we're gonna try this again and see if we can get a little bit better results. Yes, this is much better. You can actually see my head now, and I don't look like I'm headless, but uh, you can just see how it darkened the darker areas and just makes it pop a little bit more. The engraving looks really crisp, and it only took about a half an hour to do this, and this is roughly a five by eight piece of wood. So uh, pretty quick, and uh, it's really cool to be able to take any photo that you have taken and engrave it on a piece of wood and uh, other materials, which we will do a little bit more of that coming up. For project number three, we're gonna engrave some sayings on these bamboo spatulas. So we're turning our attention from that three millimeter uh, plywood material and turning it to bamboo. So let's see what kind of engraving results we get from these bamboo spoons. All right, so for the, this first spoon, the text was a little light. So I slowed the laser down and increased the power a little bit just to get a little darker burn. And I really like how it pops a little bit more on that lighter wood. These are gonna make great gifts as I plan on giving them to family members for Christmas. The fourth project are these cat and dog figurines out of this poplar hardwood. Now this wood was slightly thicker than the previous wood that we cut with the lantern. This was four millimeter hardwood, it's not plywood. And as you can see, it still cut through it very, very easily. So these little cat and dogs are, are really cool and they're a big hit with kids. They're able to assemble them on their own and it is, they assemble really easily. That wraps up the wood projects. We proved that we can cut different materials, we can engrave different materials with great results on very common wood materials. Like I said earlier, now it's time to throw some different materials at this laser and see what happens. The first one up is leather. Now I had this really thin two millimeter leather laying around and so let's use it. And the idea here is to create a, a tag to put on a product with my uh, business logo on it. So we're gonna engrave the logo and then we'll cut the tag out and be able to attach it to products. So that came out really nice. Now, I know you can't smell through the camera, but it does smell a little different than engraving wood. Um, and that's a good note. Make sure you're doing this in a ventilated area. Um, I'm doing it in my garage so I can open the door and have the door open. Uh, and do these projects. So the engraving looks really top notch. I used the same settings as I engraved on the wood uh, and I sped the cut, the outside cut up a little bit uh, and I think I still could have sped it up a little bit more because I had a little burning on the edges. But this test definitely proves that we can engrave and cut leather successfully with this laser. The next material I wanna throw at this laser to see what happens is acrylic. Now let's take that same idea in the leather project and try to apply it to acrylic because you could make some acrylic little tags as well. All right, that acrylic just pops right out of there and it looks like we've got a little bit of engraving, but I forgot to remove this masking. Now this masking just keeps the 
acrylic from getting scratched, but definitely save yourself some hassle and remove it before you engrave. And I think we would have got a little better engraving results. But nonetheless, we've got a tag out of acrylic that we can cut and engrave and it looks really clean, looks really good. Next, let's throw this aluminum in here and see what happens. Now this is black anodized aluminum. So basically it's painted aluminum. And the first test we're gonna do is let's put a QR code on this uh, business card. It's like a business card blank. So I think it'd be really cool to put a QR code leading to a website, to my website, and be able to hand them out. That's the idea here. So let's see if we can engrave a QR code on this black anodized aluminum. All right, so you can basically see here, I kind of smudged it with my finger. You can see that it did remove the black, but I need to get uh, a wipe. Um, I use these alcohol wipes and it should clean it up. Let's see. Yep, so that cleaned it up really good. So with those settings, um, we, could, we can successfully engrave black anodized aluminum. Now, basically what we're doing is we're burning the black off and it's leaving the aluminum. We're not actually imprinting or leaving a mark on the aluminum itself. In previous videos, I've got the question a lot. Can you mark aluminum? And the answer is no. But for you that don't believe me, we're, we're, we are going to try to cut this. So I'm going to do one millimeter per second which is the slowest I've ran all day. I've typically been cutting at three millimeters per second and 100% power. And we're just gonna do it and see what happens. All right, so as you can see, I had it go back and forth on the same line like three or four times, and it's not even leaving any kind of mark on that aluminum. It burnt the black off again, and that looks really clean. Uh, but it, this power laser is not going to mark any metals at all. It's way too low powered and this is a diode laser and if you're gonna mark metal you need a fiber laser. I hope that answers your question will it mark metal and the answer is no. That's just not what this is, machine is capable of. Alright so after all those tests that told us a lot. Uh, hopefully we got some ideas of what we can make and we saw what is capable with different materials but there's one question I still want to answer. One remaining question I have is how thick of wood will this actually cut? Now, on the website here, you can see that they advertise up to 18 millimeters thick, which is like three quarters of an inch. I wanna test that out. Let's see what happens. So the first test is, is I have this MDF here and it's six millimeter. Now, MDF is really dense. It's not like plywood where it has layers, right? And air between it. It's a very dense material. So let's see what it does with this six millimeter MDF. Now, one more thing is I do have an air assist uh, that I can set up on this. And so the first test, let's do without an air assist and then we'll get into the air assist and what that means. But we're just gonna do stock, no add-ons, max power two millimeters per second and see if it cuts through this MDF. So as you can see, it kind of got through a little bit, but I definitely can't push it out. Like this is still intact. So it leads me to believe that we're really close. Um, maybe if we went down to one millimeter per second, um, slowed down the laser, uh, the power's all the way up. So I can't put any more power. It's just controlling the speed. But the other thing I want to know is you see all these burn marks. And so when you slow down your laser, you're gonna get more burn. And now that is where air assist comes in, basically blowing air at the point of cutting and it blows out any flare ups, any flames. So it's a lot cleaner cut. So let's add this air assist and run the same settings, two millimeters and see what happens. So as you can see, a lot cleaner cut. You can compare these two side by side. Air assist did exactly what it's supposed to do and it's a lot cleaner cut. Flipped it over and it looks like we still didn't get through. What the air assist allows us to do now is to slow down uh, where we couldn't do that before because we could have started a fire or just charred the whole board and without air assist. So with air assist, we can slow down. So let's slow it down, do one more test, one millimeter per second, so half the speed and see if we cut through to the back side. Huh, it still looks like we didn't cut all the way through. Uh, it didn't even really leave a mark. So I don't know, uh, this is, maybe it's the material. Basically, so at one millimeter per second with 100% power with air assist, 
we're still not cutting through six millimeter MDF. Let's move on to a plywood, a less dense material, and see what kind of results we get. This is half inch plywood, which is pretty much 13 millimeters. And we're doing all these tests to see if we can cut through in one pass. Now, I know if you do multiple passes, obviously you can cut thicker materials, but these are all one pass and have been one pass tests. So the speed is one millimeter per second and a hundred power. Let's see what happens. That's a really clean cut. The air assist is really, really helping here. Uh, that's super clean. Let's see if we cut through the backside. It looks like we almost got all the way through. Now in one pass, half inch with 10, a 10 watt laser, that's pretty crazy to be able to almost get through. So I feel like if we slow it down again, we've got the air assist, the air assist is performing really well. Uh, let's slow it down to 0.5 millimeters per second and hundred power. And that should be a clean cut all the way through. Again, you can see the surface here. It's not charred, it's not burning. You can tell there's no flames. Air Assist did a fabulous job. Let's flip it over and we didn't cut all the way through. I don't know what's going on here. That's really weird. We almost cut all the way through with one millimeter and we didn't with 0.5 millimeters. I'm not sure what's going on here. If you know, let me know down in the comments. Let us all know down in the comments because I honestly am kind of dumbfounded here. All the same settings except the speed was changed, air assist was the same, material was the same, setup was the same, and with slower speed, we got less cutting power. That doesn't equal my brain, so if you know, let me know down in the comments. The last two days of making things with this laser have been an absolute blast. It's been a lot of fun. I've proven that you can make a lot of really, really cool things with this 10 watt laser. So if you like this video, be sure to check this video out right here because I think you'll like that one as well. As always, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye.